Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the carrot and rhythmic grid that appear during note input when using Dorico, the new music notation software from Steinberg. The purpose of this orange input carrot is to show you the current insertion point at which any new musical items will be created. As you enter notes, the carrot advances to the next rhythmic position. And if you want to advance the carrot without entering a note, you can do that by pressing space. This will advance the carrot by the same rhythmic duration that is currently selected in the notes panel. And because of this, I don't actually need to input rests in Dorico. For example, I can select a dotted crotchet or quarter note in the notes panel and press space to advance the carrot. Now, I can select a quaver or eighth note and continue to input music. You'll notice that Dorico has padded out the rests for me automatically. Other musical items are also created at the carrot when you are in note input. I'm going to open the dynamics panel and input a forte. You'll notice that this does not advance the carrot, so I'm able to input other notations such as dynamics and then only when I input a note will the carrot move on to the next rhythmic position. The grid helpfully displays the rhythmic divisions of a bar for when you are inputting music using the mouse and need to create a note at a specific position. The arrow keys move the carrot along the grid one step at a time, and you can even use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to other staves. Hold down Control on Windows or Command on Mac when using the left-right arrow keys and you will move in steps of a whole bar. This control changes the resolution of the grid. So you can select, say, semiquavers or sixteenth notes for finer control when inputting using the mouse. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like these. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.